Okay, I just want to jump on here real quick um, because I know a lot of people over time have suggested this tool, GIMP. And I used to use Photoshop all the time, but something happened to my computer and it won't work on there anymore. So I decided to turn to GIMP. And today uh, there was somebody in Catherine's group that was looking for an image to become transparent. And so I just dropped it in here. And seriously, it's like 30 seconds to fix up the image. So I just let me wanted to show you how to use this real quick. Um, first, I'll just come to gimp.org and download everything here. When you do that, you get this editor. Looks just like this. And all I did is I grabbed the hold of this image and it actually came in as a webby format. And um, so I would just come in here and import the image, blah, blah, blah. Just click on convert. And it'll plunk the image right down in there. And then you do just uh, shift plus a couple of times. Let's pull it over. You want to come over here and you want to find this, uh, what do they call it here? A fuzzy select tool and other things. It's called um, magic wand or something like that. And you just come in and the areas you want to go away. Now, this one here is pretty easy to cut out because there aren't a lot of really crazy edges. <coughs> excuse me, but you uh, just click on the white area and you hit delete and we'll come up here, delete all the way around. And this poor little froggy has got little casts on his legs. It's for a um, rehab facility for little babies. And um, so we got that all done and we're going to come in here. We are going to click on export as click on that. And all I did is I came up PNG and said export. And I already had it out here once, so I'll just click replace. Otherwise, it just asks you to, has an, yeah, here's the other screen that pops up, and then I just click on export again. And there you go, and it saved it right down here for me as a PNG. Uh, let me slide this over a little bit. So it's this one up here, this PNG, not the JPEG down there. And there you go, so, um, well, I can open it up, but I don't know if it'll show me properly. Yeah, I guess it will because it's got a gray background here. So, and it shows you that it's um, perfectly cut out. It may not be the greatest job in the world. Maybe if I zoom in a little bit more, it'll get a little bit more cleaner. But if you just need something real quick and simple, um, just jump into GIMP and there you go. So that's all I got.